So the reason I chose to do the foundation apprenticeship is because I felt before I wanted to do it, I had chosen to do a career in medicine, so I'd been working towards that. And I realized that social and healthcare actually fits in with what I wanted to do. So I felt like I'd actually get a more realistic view on the career that I've chosen because I'd studied for it, but I hadn't actually practically seen it. And because it was an opportunity to learn about something related to medicine, kind of, I realized that I wanted to do that. Um, and it's also the fact that we get to do practical work in it. So the fact that we get to do work placements and do practical work and develop our skills, not just memorizing stuff and going to an exam and putting it on paper, but rather developing our skills and having proof for that. And it's kind of like gaining life skills more than just an exam. Um, but yeah, and then it's also the knowledge that we learned because I knew that the knowledge would be based off on social and healthcare and that's also kind of related to medicine and what I'll have to learn when I go into uni if I can change that down that path. So when I was deciding my subjects I went to my guidance teacher um, and all the guidance teachers knew quite a bit about it so she gave me information such as what it what the foundation apprenticeship entails and also things like what universities accept it and what kind of grades i'd get for it if i did it um and then also they had an assembly for the whole, all the year groups that had the chance to pick it so it re the school really did work on informing us and we got a lot of information from many different sources so I had five hires. Um, so the foundation apprentice the foundation apprenticeship is split into two parts. So there's the NPA units and then there's the SVQ units. Um, NPA units are basically the classwork that we do. So we go into class and we have um, a person that comes from the f comes from Quest to come teach us about all the different units. So there's things like safeguarding, the th there's things like provision and um, grooming, and we learn about things related to social and healthcare. And then we get assessments for them at the end of the unit. And we upload all the assessments we do onto this website and then they get marked. Um, and that's basically how the class works done and assessed. And then we also have the SVQ units which are related to the work experience. So we go and do our work experience and then we write reflective pieces about them and we write the reflective pieces and then on the website it shows you the criteria you need. So we try and fit with that criteria and we get a lot of help from the people that are running the thing so we're not confused about it. We've had lots of talks. Um, so that's how it goes. Um, so my placement is actually in the hospital, which works really well because I want to do medicine. Um, it's in an infection ward. Um, so I, I was really happy about that. Um, and then I think some of the benefits that I've gotten is the fact that because of my work experience, I've seen a lot more than other people would. Um, uh, compared to like because I'm, I want to do medicine I've seen a lot more about the kind of place that I want to work um, and I've gained a lot of confidence while being there because it's a new environment it's not some place you usually get work experience from so I've become a lot of confident a lot more confident when I talk to the nurses and the medical staff and when I go around talking to patients as well um, at the start I was very nervous but as time went on I managed to become more confident um, and it's not just that but I've also become more confident in my career choice as well because I've seen the pleasant side of things and the not so pleasant side but it's all come together and I reflected on all the experiences and realized that it is quite a fun career whether it's medicine or social and health uh, social and health care I think I've had a great insight into it and it's something I really do enjoy 
The main skill I've developed while doing this is my ability to take initiative. Um, so when I go to my work uh, work placement, I used to let, oh well, I still do. I rely on my mentor to get me um, some work to be done. But now that I've gotten more comfortable, I start to take my own initiative and ask what the nurses are doing, ask if I could help with this or help with going around giving juice to the patients. Um, so I've learned to take my own initiative. And then I've also really improved my communication skills. So when I go around shadowing the nurses or doctors, I talk to them or and I also talk to the patients. Um, and then my listening skills as well, because um, when there's a task that I don't understand, I always ask them to explain it to me. And I've really built up my knowledge based on those skills that I've developed. Um, I'd say I'm really enjoying the work experience part of the so uh, the apprenticeship because it lets me do something practical rather than sitting in the classroom. But I also really enjoy the lessons because I'm building up on knowledge that I might not have learned before, and it's in a social and healthcare setting, which I really enjoy. I want to go to university next um, and I think the foundation apprenticeship will actually help me during the time I, uh, like during my time in uni because there's a lot of practical skills needed in the course that I want to do. Yes, I definitely recommend it because um, it's a great opportunity to have. It's because usually in schools you'd normally expect a subject where you'd have to sit an exam for it and you study till the end. But for the foundation apprenticeship, you have a continuous assessment and you get to do new things that you've never done before. And it's a great opportunity for people that might not be as good as exams as other people. Um, and they find it harder to do exams, so the fact that they get to do this foundation apprenticeship means that they get a qualification where they've done, uh, they've practiced the skills that they're better at.